Hello, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Mariah Taliaferro with your March market update for Sarasota and Manatee counties. If I could describe our market in a few words, I'd say our market is still very strong, but very calm. We've come off the peak since April of 2022, but overall we've seen about a 10 to 12% decline in the list prices. So when that ends up resulting in a sale, it's between a 12 and 15% reduction from where we came off of April of 2022. With that being said, we have still an inventory shortage. When we look at prices from 500,000 up to 5 million, we have anywhere to two and a half months of inventory to four months of inventory. And for those that don't know what months of inventory means, that describes that based on the pace of sales, if no other inventory entered the market, it would take two months to sell all the current inventory, four months to sell all the current inventory, for instance. Now, when we look at five to 10 million, that's where we see a big jump in the, the months of inventory. So we're seeing a 15% months of inventory for single family homes and 30 months of inventory when you go to five million and up. So the list price to sale price ratios, which compares what a property sold for versus what it was listed for is still very strong at 96 to 97 percent but again overall we have seen about a 10 to 12 percent decline in those list prices now this is looking at the market in general from sarasota and manatee counties as we dive into certain micro markets it's a very different story so for example, if we take a property in the Meadows, which is a really nice golf course community and prices really range from about 300,000 up to a million for that community, there's two and a half months of inventory. Prices are still very strong and there are properties that are seeing multiple offers. Mm -hmm. Versus if we look at the ultra luxury sector, which would be 10 million and up, we have about an 84 months of supply. So very two two very different stories so this definitely presents a great opportunity if you're looking to purchase property 10 million and up you have a lot more negotiation power versus if you're looking to purchase something you know three to five hundred thousand in areas that are in very high demand there's a lot less negotiation because it's a seller's market in those areas now if you're looking to sell your property regardless of the price buyers are incredibly price sensitive we're, as we mentioned, coming off the peak of April of 2022, where you saw that if one home sold for, let's say 500,000, the next home is going to be listed for 550. It's just not the case anymore. Um, so price sensitivity, really strategizing how that property is to be presented, both with price, staging, and, and photography and the marketing strategy, all of those are still very important, if not more so than years past. It's also important to mention that the days on market has really increased. So to expect your property to be selling in a week to a month is not necessarily realistic in most of these markets. It's really increased to 45 days, if not longer. And again, that goes back to the amount of supply that is in that specific micro market. If you're a buyer that's looking to purchase in this market, whether you're buying something for 300,000 or you're buying something for over 10 million, lowball offers are going to be ignored either way. So you have to set your expectations accordingly. But if you're looking to buy something in that 10 million plus market, you have a lot more negotiation room. So do keep that in mind versus if you're looking to buy something in the Meadows, for example, for 300,000, you have way less negotiation room because it's much more of a seller's market. High demand product such as beachfront under 2 million is still likely to see multiple offers. Those are still in very high demand. And you always want to have proof of funds or a pre-qualification letter available at the time of your offer. So with all that being said, a little bit of mixed messaging here, we are still in a seller's market in general, and we are still seeing multiple offers depending on the type of product that uh, is available. 45 days on market is about the average. We still have very low inventory and very solid demand. We are also seeing higher interest rates. 
and growing inventory, so the dynamics are changing, especially as inflation continues to fluctuate and all the market volatility that we're experiencing. And there is a growing fear of recession. So these are things that we are all taking into account as we advise our clients, whether they're looking to buy or sell property. So if you have any questions about our current market, specifically for the property that you're looking to buy or sell, please reach out to us anytime and we'd be happy to give you our input and help you come up with the right game plan. Thanks so much for tuning in.